Pimp, pimp, what it do? Come meet y'all today with tips on offset bagging from the scrubbers. Trying to get the CDL, we came to the right place. We starting right now. I'm getting money, I'm getting money. Catch me in your trap and I'm still getting that money. I'm getting that money, I'm getting that money. Catch me in the club throwing nothing but them hunters. You explain the, uh, explain the offset? I got that 99, you know, by how you said it, but the offset, I got it, but I, I, I messed up a little bit. I'm trying to see why I messed up here. Well, I'm just telling them, it's like that 90. You get in front of your truck all the way to your boundary line, you ain't back here, are you? Oh, I, I would, before I get in it, before I get into what's called. Or you getting your bumper all the way up to your boundary line? Oh, um, yeah, I did it the last time, but it was... My tire was almost lined up with the cone. You know what I'm saying? Instead of coming about around. The front of your truck, when you do your setup for the offset, yeah. are you coming all the way up to your Yeah, line all the way to my line, yeah. When the truck, when the line disappeared. All right. Yeah. You putting one full turn exactly in there. Right? Yeah, one 12, 12 left. Are you leaning forward in the seat any? Well, once I, this is what I have. Once I do the left, then I do the, do the right. Once the truck lined up, and I get the bagging up, that's where the problem starts. Well, that's what I'm asking you, though. Okay. When you put your one full turn to the left and you're watching that bottom mirror over there, right? Yeah, yeah. Are you leaning forward in your seat in? Not that I know you're sitting of. back in the seat. Yeah, yeah I'm really, y'all yeah, just looking at the mirror as, as, the, as it disappears. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell them, the look. Sit okay. back in your seat. Don't be leaning forward. Okay. A lot of people well, do that. They'll lean one. forward watching. Whoa. You sit back see, in. Just sit back, okay. Today. And when the right side of that oh. trailer completely hides it, oh, don't be looking under the bumper. The right oh, side of the trailer completely hides it. Girl. That's when you put your hard right in. Okay, I'm so when it, when it, okay. And then you hold that hard right, then what? You get it straight with each other. Okay. Baby Once you get it straight, oh, that's when you she want to get rid of that trailer line with the center row cone, right? Yeah. yeah. Once you Davis, do that, you what? That hard left. And bend it in there. Remember? Okay. You're putting your ride right in there to bend it in there. Yeah, I'm seeing your head back here. You see it coming left? Get that left in there. Get that left in there. In there. Okay. But that, 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 that's my I'm whooping at that nine. Well, I got the damn Austin. I ain't did it in a few days. Right, it's this, got though. the throwing up. Yeah. Think about this, though. My mama when you had come my in on the 90, what are you on? I'm like, for real? She said, yeah. When you come in? Yeah. You on that? Yeah. You, you, yeah. Yep. So, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Coming in the alley, when you start coming in that alley, you're actually on the offset. So, yep, that is something to think about. Turns into that center coming. You might be knowing he break it down, boy. That's why, that's why I asked him, man. I, yeah, I need to get that part, man. I want to get it down back. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that with you myself. Oh, man, y'all ain't playing. It's like I showed him that day, too. When y'all are doing that straight line, you're going to see it comes back to the offset, it comes back to the 90. Very important. Very important. And I always tell everybody, if that's the front of your trailer, this rear of your trailer, you look from the front of the trailer all the way down the side of it. And you use it like a straight edge. Yeah. That's what you do, because look, you use it like a straight edge, look. The flight is moving. I can see which way it's going. Man, you sure right. right. There, if I see it drifting left, what do you got to do? Respond to it as soon as you see it. Because if you don't respond to it as soon as you see it, guess what happens? That's when you got to start over steering. Yeah, yeah. That's when the front of the truck starts doing this. Yeah, you sure right. I got them right there, though. Sit down looking at left mirror and the trailer going left. Yeah, I got that one up for the work on, man. I'm going to get my offsets down. Look down the whole length of the trailer. The trailer's all the way around here. When you're doing it, you see what's going on behind you. Plus, like I said, watch this. You can see the slightest movement. Mm -hmm. yeah, like yeah, it's like it's it's right. 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 You don't, think, you don't think of it that way, but look, straight line is more than just backing up. It's going forward, too. What I tell you, Roy. What I show you the other day, when y'all pull up on your straight line stuff, what do you need to be doing? 
You need to be looking down the length of that truck. Oh, yeah, you put these in your pocket. Just go open it, they're going to automate it. If you're open. coming up through there, is this is your alley lines right here. If you're coming up through there and you're not looking down the length of that truck, look which way it's headed. Well, it's yeah, already it's headed that right. way. Yeah. Because you're not paying attention to it. And then when you're pulling up through there, guess what? If you're looking down the length of it, you can be looking at that mirror and say, wait a minute, i got to get it this way to keep it good and straight through that. Yep. And on that offset, same so thing. The mirrors are just important going forward. They you got to be looking at that. Yeah, yeah this all would help out. I'll pull them by that straight line. <laughs> Go back to the offset. If some of you ain't been watching them mirrors, like I told you to you, if you look all the way down that cone, you can judge on each side how far you are. You see that guy walked over went right? Screw his whole setup on the offset. And if you go to if you float off to the left, it's gonna mess your setup up. Another thing y'all need to remember. You know, I was telling you about that radius right there. Yeah. You know, well just say this right here, like I showed in. If you came in on it, and just say you was tight on the left side and you had to do a pull up. Let's just say it was right there. We're too tight on it, right? And you had to do a pull up. Well guess what? When you pull up, that bumper's gonna show you how far you need to pull up. So say you got up in there and you pulled it up, and you was right here and you pulled it up right there. Is that enough? No. That, that bumper's showing you that's nowhere near enough. So what do you do? You pull it up until you get back on that radius again. No. See what I'm saying? Because if you don't, if you, if you don't pull up at least eight, ten foot, guess what? Right back where you Same place. Yep. Yeah. That was one of the problems I would have. The other thing I was trying to show them out there the other day. You know, I was telling you about your setup. It's very important. If you don't go far enough up here, guess what? When that truck and try to stripe each other, it's going to roll eight foot before it even responds to what you got in that wheel up there. Papa, do, mo, do, do.